What's good, YouTube fam? It's your girl, China Ahu Pretty, coming to you live. Today, we got She Bullied a Street Performer. The internet gave her instant karma. <laughs> Let's get right into this. If there's one thing that puts a big smile on my face and you just love to see, it's got to be instant karma. And today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the juiciest cases of instant karma I've seen in a hot minute. Stuff like this infuriates me. I can only imagine how much courage it takes to go out and perform music, your own music, in public and hopefully people stop and listen put money in the hat that takes a lot of courage and he's grinding he's taking his time out to do this and then she pushed his keyboard down that's his equipment that costs money and she stole his money oh ooh, i would be livid i guess she did that to him because she felt like he wouldn't do anything this is a video that's going extremely viral on TikTok and Reddit at the moment, and it's the type of video that I think serves as a pretty good reminder that the internet is an unforgiving place and when provoked will destroy anyone who deserves it. Let's just take a look at the original video and see what happened. This is one of the worst things somebody's probably ever done to me while street performing. So that's the initial incident. I really don't know what the point of doing that was. It's not cool. It's not funny. You're just kind of being a dick. I take that as her wanting attention or maybe she's envious that he has this talent. Maybe she thought the people that were watching would laugh. I don't know what it is, but that's not funny at all. I like when people can support others. And then just the fact that she touched his keyboard again, that that is the problem. That is the main problem. Don't touch somebody else's stuff. There's always that one kid you knew at school or your neighborhood that for some reason thinks it's cool to do stuff like this, but they're always the least funny people out there with the shittiest personalities. But most people usually grow out of that, you know, but there is a select few that don't, and that would be this case here with this fully grown adult. But yeah, it obviously takes a lot of courage to come up there and play your instrument in public, and to have someone go right up to you and do something like this could be demoralizing moralizing but luckily this guy's a champion and he plays on it happens and it's not the biggest deal at the end of the day but it's not over now you can see in the background that she was walking with her friends and then it looks like she told them hold on let me go do this real quick that also speaks on the friends character like why would y'all allow her to do that unless she didn't tell them maybe she didn't tell them exactly what she's gonna do then okay my bad but if she did and they didn't stop her from that that's just wrong hold your friends accountable and she definitely went out of her way to even do that. Like, you were just walking by. Go on about your business. He's not bothering you. You don't have to bother him. So this kind of stuff happens here and there, so I usually just keep playing through it. But after what's about to happen, I had to stop. This was also the last song of the night. And side note, I do this to see people happy, so please don't harass the person. Wait a minute now if that's him playing he's got some talent okay <laughs> i would actually stop and listen to that i love me some jazz music i love some instrumentals i love the guitar oh music is just beautiful sometimes without words you know what i'm saying and yeah he's clean if that's him i know sometimes you can just put a song in the background of a video so i don't know drop a comment if that was him i would actually stop and put some money in his hat maybe a couple dollars maybe one dollar i don't have that much money to give away but yes he's got some talent that's some cold-hearted stuff she and her friends are very immature very childish and also that shows signs of unhappiness like what's going on in your life for you to want to go ruin other people's nights when they're not even bothering you they're doing their own thing. What, did you try to play the keyboard as well when you were younger? You never succeeded? Like, what is it? Oh, you suck, asshole! Oh, 
You know, the first time she went up there, as not cool as that was, there could be an excuse. Maybe she was drunk, maybe her friends egged her on to do it, but this here was completely inexcusable. Doing this was an unforgivable sin in the internet's eyes, and honestly, I agree. Not only does she f*** up the entire setup, but then steals his money right after apologizing. Now that's just criminal behavior, and why would you ask a man if he wants to hit about it? I'm assuming that means fight. I can't stand when a woman tries to fight a man and a man is not doing anything. It's one thing if a woman is defending herself, but this, why would you try to egg on a fight with a man? Men are stronger, okay? Now, I don't know about him being stronger. She looks kind of kind of big and got some thick legs and they might have some power, but in general, don't do that. I'm masculine, but I know damn well, I'm not trying to go up against a guy. I respect men. I respect women. I stay in my lane. They stay in theirs. That's it. Yeah, what a sincere apology. And on top of all that, offers to fight him when he's naturally pissed off about it. What a trashy shit stain of a person. And like, what is he even supposed to do? He can't just start fighting her since she's a girl. And she's with an entire group of people who don't even call her out on it. How could I want to hit about it? All right, man. Birds of a shit feather flock together, I guess, but there is a bit more. There is a bit of a happy ending, so let's finish up the video. Now, I love the fact that people are giving him a little bit of money. This other guy said, you can have all of it. I love seeing when people have a heart because he didn't deserve that. That was fucked up. You're really good. You're really good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You okay? Shout out to the guy that tipped me after and all of the people that came and helped out after seeing what happened. It really restores my faith in humanity. I was thinking the exact same thing, what he just said. And I also love the fact that there are different races of people coming up and helping this guy, supporting him. Because there are so many generalizations about black women being this and being that, being rude, loud, whatever. And now this just went viral of another black woman doing something so rude disrespectful but i'm glad we saw the other side of the coin in the same exact video that another black woman came up showed some love gave him some money and she just walked away that shows people of a certain race all of them are not the same hey, don't worry i got on camera you good? Oh, I know. yeah we got tiktok content now those were the last words before this woman's life was bent over by the people of the internet. You see, she may have wrecked this setup and stole the money, she may have had a group with her as well, but this man had one thing infinitely more devastating than that stuff. And that was a video, this video specifically, that was recorded by his phone and then posted to TikTok where you already know what happened. When this video went viral, it didn't take long for people to find out who this woman was and not only was her name found, but also her contact info, all her social media, her criminal record, her address, and her family's contact info. Oh my gosh, we got internet detectives out here, man. I bet they demolished her. Criminal activity, indeed. She has some criminal records, it sounds like. Hold on, what, what did it say? She went to jail for credit card fraud and theft. That explains the thievery. Not even surprised. Not surprised. And also, does this guy sound like moist critical? Now, I don't condone doxing, but at the same time, what goes around comes around, and this person f around and found out. But yeah, it didn't take long for her and her family to start getting harassed, and soon after, she had no choice but to issue an apology. Public service announcement. I'm sorry for everyone that has seen the viral video. I have took accountability for my actions. I know it was wrong and ignorant of me, but please keep my family out of it. Your problem is with me, not my family. You don't get anything out of texting them or me, and I have already apologized to the person. We have talked. Everything is good. No, I didn't steal any money and no i didn't break the piano i'm a human just like you all everyone has made mistakes nobody isn't perfect again i'm sorry for my actions i've seen worse downtown 
This is nothing compared to what I did, and I know it's not right. The person I apologized to accepted my apology, and we had a whole good conversation on the phone, and that's all that matters. You people are nasty the way y'all are texting me and my family and making fake pages. Y'all don't get nothing out of that. Y'all stay blessed. That wasn't a mistake. That was done on purpose. And I don't think her family should be harassed or doxxed because of this. They didn't deserve that. But at the same time, this guy did not deserve that. Not the greatest apology, honestly. She says she didn't steal any money, apparently, yet clearly in the video is seen taking the money, so I find that pretty weird. And we're gonna watch a follow-up video soon from the piano player himself. Overall, this is a pretty dog shit apology. It doesn't sound sincere at all. Oh yeah, I've seen worse things downtown. This is nothing compared to what I did. You know it's a sincere apology when you're actively trying to downplay and deflect what you're apologizing for. Right. Right. It's still a lack of accountability. This is about what you did. It's about the actions you took that night. Really, the only vibe I've got from this apology is just someone that's sorry they got caught. Let's be real. This is an update to the Shantae Heard piano incident. I'll be talking about whether or not I press charges, some of the DMs that me and her had, and the plan moving forward. So to answer the question I've been asked the most, have I pressed charges? Yes, I have pressed charges. Case number is right here. Um, and I've been talking to the police since that incident has happened. That's the way to go about it. I'm glad he didn't try to fight her after she said that because that's what she probably wanted. This is the way to do it properly. She got karma instantly, just like this title said. All right, secondly, this is the DMs that me and her exchanged on Instagram. This is part one. You are welcome to pause and read through it. Basically, she just says that she's sorry and that she didn't steal any money. Um, and, and honestly, the, the apology wasn't too bad for me. So I said, yeah, hey, I accept your apology. But again, I still do not condone any harassment. And I definitely want everybody to stop harassing her family because they had nothing to do with this. And here's part two of that DM conversation. You guys can pause and read it. And so this is my response to her saying she didn't take any money. Um, I believe that she did, but I'm not 100% sure because the video is unclear and I didn't get a clear view of it uh, in person. So you guys had to be the judge of that. And so the plan moving forward, firstly, I would just like to say thank you to everybody who's followed, shared, reposted, liked, commented, everything that's happened since that video has been posted. It's just been crazy the past couple of days. And I'm so grateful to all the generous people that tip me on Venmo. I cannot thank you guys enough. I'll be using that money to invest in a new piano stand and a piano and also some content creation tools. You got some great publicity from this incident as well as quite a bit of cash, I can imagine. So overall, it's a happy ending. He still seems very positive, even though she was rude to him, did what she did. He accepted her apology and he also got publicity off of it. So I'm sure his social media is doing well. He's gotten enough money to get a new piano. That's awesome. That is good for him. It was a blessing in disguise, honestly. Unfortunately, it had to happen through this occurring, but man, good for him. I'm happy for him. Anyways, what are your thoughts on this? Drop a comment down below. And until next time, I'm China. I hope party. I'm out.